Hey guys, welcome to Kids Corner. First we will hear from Miss Luann and then we will have a song. Hey boys and girls of Gorman. I'm so glad to see you this morning on Kids Corner. And you know what? If you decide to come to Sunday school this morning, there will be Sunday school at 10 o'clock for children at Gorman Baptist Church this morning. There have been some instructions sent through the church email that your parents can print out and they can read and uh, you'll know exactly what you need to do uh, as far as what door you come in, what door you go out. But we are so excited and it won't be a completely normal Sunday school day because we are going to do it a, a little bit at the time till we can get back to normal. Just like everything right now is going on. Things are coming back to normal a little bit at the time, kind of slowly. So if you get up and get out of those pajamas after you see Kids Corner, you could go to real Sunday school and see me in person. I hope you do. This morning, we are talking about what it means to have warnings. In the Bible, in God's Word, there are a lot of warnings about how Christians should live and what they should do. But we have warnings in our life that we need to pay attention to. Uh, I have a sign that's in my yard that is a warning. If you try to sneak into my house uh, unexpectedly to do something that you shouldn't be doing, there is an alarm that's going to go off in my house. And this is a warning to a person that's trying to do something they shouldn't do, who's trying to be sneaky or trying to be deceitful. This is a warning sign that you not, should not do that. You shouldn't try to come in my house like that. There's going to be a, a, a lot of noise if you do. There's also warning things in your house. I hope most of your houses have a smoke alarm. And you know that during, uh, if, you, if your mom gets to burning the bacon or burning up the hamburgers, that smoke alarm goes off. And that's a warning that's saying, hey, something's not right here. Something, uh, you, you better get that under control on the stove or you might have a fire. There's also warnings with, that we carry around with us for our cars to be sure that nobody tries to break into them. I'm going to try to get it to work, but I don't think you can hear it. Okay, that means get away from my car. That's a warning. Don't mess with my car. I, you're not supposed to be there. Well, the Bible has warnings. And one of the warnings that is coming to us in 2 Peter, the second chapter, verses 1 through 11, is to be warning, be warned against people who are teaching things in the Bible that are not true. They're false teachers and they're called false teachers. And it's a fact. We have so many false teachers in our world today that like to take the Bible and make it the way they want to talk about it or the way they think it should be applied in our lives. And you know, a lot of times they do it in secret ways, deceptive ways. Just like people who might be trying to secretly get in our house or in our car. That's why we need those warnings. We also need to take this, these verses and read them with your parents. And understand that they are false teachers who want to take the Bible and twist it all around and make it the way they want to. Oh, they're going to make it sound really good. Well, maybe the Bible says you should do this. But it would be easier if you just didn't do it that way, you did it this way. They make it seem good. They even make it seem popular. But it's not what the Bible says. It's not what the Bible is telling us to do. And we know that God wants us to read our Bibles, and study our Bibles. That's the only way that we're going to know our scriptures enough to know that when that person comes along, tries to convince us that the Bible is saying something different from what God's message is, the only, the only defense we have is to read our Bible, do our memory verses, study our stories, and God will reward us for not listening to people who are telling us things in the Bible that are not true, that are trying to make it the way uh, the world wants it to be. Oh, it's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. Well, if the Bible says it's not okay to do it, then it's not. So don't listen to the false teachers. 
I, I, it makes me think of, uh, you know, sometimes people want to make fun of people who listen to the Bible, who obey the Bible, who listen to God's word and instruction. Think about Noah. They were making fun of Noah. They thought he was just a silly man building a boat for no reason. But it, it, what if he had listened to all the people that were telling him false things? It's not going to rain. Nothing's going to happen. Why are you building this boat? What's this all about? But Noah, he did what God instructed him to do. He listened to God's word and what he had for him. And it saved his family. So God does reward us when we don't listen. We don't make the Bible be what we want it to be. We do what God's word tells us to be. Who it tells us to be and what it tells us to do. So when you read 2 Peter... Uh, chapter 2 verses 1 through 11 you're going to hear about false teachers and just think about what we've talked about today know your Bible well enough to know when somebody wants to give you something that's not true you know real quickly uh-uh that's not the way God put it in the Bible that's not the way that I am going to, to do I'm going to do what God says so a very good lesson today we do have a wacky holiday this week Monday is Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. I know from Jam that most of y'all really love grilled cheese sandwiches. So that'll be a great wacky holiday. Have one on Monday. Have a grilled cheese sandwich just for me. And I hope to see you in Sunday school. I hope that we have some. Uh, it's, we're calling it a soft start, which means we're just getting back in. We're getting back in the groove. And I hope to see you there. I love y'all. Bye.
sure to tune in to our morning worship service with singing and Pastor Craig preaching.